What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Legion Troll back with another video, man. Welcome back to the channel. Before we do it, y'all go ahead and help brother out. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and go ahead and drop a comment on your favorite part of the video. But today, I just want to go ahead and get straight to the video. I know you guys have been asking a whole bunch of questions about Project Slayers, the exclusive testing game that's out right now. So in this video, I'm going to address most of the bigger ones that you guys have asked. And uh, if I didn't get to your question, I'm sorry, but not sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'll hopefully do a part two. If y'all need a part two, go ahead and drop 20 likes if you guys can. And for a part two, and you guys go ahead and ask more questions in the comment section below. But let's go ahead and get straight to the video. So you guys have a lot of questions. Uh, one of the bigger questions you guys have been asking, like, is the game free? When is it coming out? So I will go ahead and answer those questions later on in the video. So y'all go ahead and stay tuned in the video so you guys can see that part. But I'm going to go ahead and start with some of the lower asked questions that you guys asked from before. So one of the ones you guys asked so far is how far through development is the game? Now I'll keep it a buck. This game is really, 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 really not that far through development. To be honest with you, it's like GPO like level, like day one of development. They got the first base map. If there will be more maps added, I don't know. Or if the map will be expanded, I don't know. But they really don't have too much yet. They have some base bosses. They have some base amounts of uh, breathings and arts. They, they do have a lot done, but it's just like maybe the bare minimum to at least get the game ready for release. Which like GPO, when it started off, it had enough to do like the bare minimum to hold players down for however long till the next update comes out. So that's the most information I can really give about that. I can't say too much in regards to there's not too much to speak on. So yeah, that's as far as the game development is right now. Is it is it going to be a full game release or are they going to release it like partially done how it is now? So the game is definitely going to be released with partially like completed. It's not going to be a full like a to Z, 0 to 100% completion game done. You guys are going to get part of the game done and as the game is going on they will slowly update and add new things add new breaths and all that so you guys will definitely have an opportunity to play the game from the beginning if you start now and then play as it progresses another question y'all ask is how is the game overall now i'll keep it honest i'll keep it very hot honest because y'all y'all know i'll keep it 100 over here the game overall is very fun at the beginning now if you're a noob if it's your first time playing the game the first week of playing the game the game is extremely fun. It's a new experience. All the hype. You're like, you like, you touch it. You're like, this game's that. It's like the best game ever. You're like, bro, this game is so great. But I'll keep it honest with you. After that first week, the game gets very boring, very dry, very fast. Which can also be due to the fact that there's not much content out, which is understandable. But, um, yeah, after you do the very first, like, start of the game, you do all the quests. And you're kind of like, oh, it's cool. This game got a lot of concepts going on. You test the combat. Everything's feeling fun. And then you realize like damn you finished everything now you just got a bandit beat until you get the max level which is what makes it kind of boring and then the pp is still kind of fun though semi fun it's got some kinks in it but overall it's still fun so yeah the game overall is not bad but given its progression right now it's not in the best stance but hey it still has potential to do a lot more so i'm, I'm not going to say too much about that now what will be added to the game now, Uwap has confirmed himself that he's going to be adding all the breathing styles, all the art styles. So, there's there's definitely a lot more content to come. Right now, we got in the game, we got insect, water, wind, and then uh, lightning or thunder. So, we still have to wait for um, serpent. We still got to wait for, I think it was love breathing. I don't even remember which one she had. We got just a lot more coming that aren't out yet. We got stone, sound. So... And we even haven't even got missed. So there's so much content that's still to be added to the game that we haven't seen yet. So there's a whole lot left to be looked forward to. Now, next question we got is, will there be dungeons slash raids? Now, I actually had this question too because I was I was really looking forward, hoping they add the Mugen, the Mugen Train arc, stuff like that. And like dungeons and raids in general, I really don't even know for this one because this one is still 50-50. It's actually been a tester suggestion debate for a while. And uh, we're still waiting on an answer from the dev team to see if it's actually going to happen. So we're fingers crossed hoping that'll happen. But if it does happen, that'll be a really good turn for the game. Because it will really add more content and context for the whole game itself. And also just give players a lot more to do. Is this game storyline or is it a bandit beater? If you guys haven't caught it by now, this game is definitely so far giving bandit beater. Now, there also is another debate in the testing community where... We wanted to be able to see if we can change up the bandit beating because right now the system of the game is pretty much you level up a little bit 
after you finish all the quests, then you just farm bosses and keep redoing them over and over again until you get to max level. Now, what we want to do or, or hoping can a change that we can make is that kind of like Shindle Life gens, the bosses will spawn in random locations and anyone in the server will be pinged with the marker to where the boss is. And then you can go fight that boss, potentially get its drops or any drop from it, and then get some XP in the term in the same time without repetitively repetitively doing the same boss 30 freaking different times. Like it just it just gets too boring and over like done. Now are the bosses cheesy? Extremely, 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 extremely cheesy. Right now, bosses are at the phase where they kind of have like three three main moves, three or four. And then they literally like will just spam like they do pretty good M1 damage and then they just spam the life out of those moves. They get a lot of combos with those moves. So I would say they're cheesy, but they're they're still definitely easy to fight, mostly, like most around. Once you get higher level, but overall they're still kind of cheesy, but it's it's definitely playable. Nothing you can't handle. If you're decent at the game, you'll be able to handle it. Now, we got a big question here. We got is the game free or will it be free on release now this is a tough question to answer because the game is following a very similar path to the gpo release it allowed close testing for a little while and then once it was released it released with the very base world the starter island maybe two other islands and yeah there wasn't much content but the game was paid and to this day it's still paid it's looking like it could potentially release and be paid just like gpo but there is a very small opportunity or small chance that the game could still be free it's still on debate right now so i wouldn't say that it's going to be paid but i wouldn't say it's going to be free but if i was looking at it it would definitely be like a 70 30 chance of it being paid to being free so y'all just look out for that if you don't want to pay i will be doing some giveaways if it is ends up being paid so y'all go ahead and tune in on the channel when the game drops because i will be doing giveaways probably like every week maybe every other day and just giving away free um, Robux to buy the game. Now, when is this game going to be released? Very good question. Now, this question has been asked by a lot of people. And sadly, there is literally no specific date. All we've been told is the game could be coming out very soon. Now, soon is very, very, very broad. It could really mean a lot of stuff. It could mean today. It could mean tomorrow. It could mean, like, next week. It could mean next year. I don't freaking know what Uwa means by soon. All I know is that he said the game is going to be released soon. So, there's a potential for the game to come out very soon. It could come out within a week or to come out within a year. To be honest with you. I'm just going to say this, though. I doubt the game is going to come out anytime, or I doubt the game is going to come be released after 2022. So I would expect it in this year frame, in this time frame, at least of this year. And that that's the only thing that'll make most sense for the game to come out this year. If it comes out anytime after this year, that's definitely not soon. So I'd say give it between one to five months, and you guys could at least hope for maybe like an open test something to at least let you know that the game is being worked on and potential like to actually play it. Overall, though, this game is a W. I'll give it probably like a 7 out of 10. Visually, it's great. Visually, I give it a 10. Um, effects, it looks great. Everything looks good. I just say in terms of gameplay, there's some certain stuff that could use some work. But in time, it will happen. So I can't even fully judge the game yet on its base. It's really like on just standing on its t like grand new two legs. So the game still has a lot of time to really develop itself. So I can't say too much. But overall, I'd say the game is still very good for being so early in development. People don't realize how early in development this really is because there's so much they still haven't done. So overall, I'd say the game is very much worth the hype. I'd say you guys get ready to play a fire game when it drops. And that's all really the questions I had to answer for today. And if y'all want a part two, go ahead and drop, get this video to 20 likes. And I'll go ahead and drop that for you. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. And I'll see y'all in the next video.